snow in April. It's something we've seen in Connecticut and temperatures tonight. If we were going to be seeing any precipitation would most likely in spots fall as snow. It will get that cold out there, but just to inform you and make sure you understand that we're not forecasting any snow for tonight. Just very cold temperatures which will fall in some spots even below freezing. We are watching that there are some frost advisories nearby, but a live look outside in New Haven. It does show we're so slowly starting to see those clouds come to an end. We did have a few earlier, uh, plenty of them, I should say, throughout most of Connecticut. But right now we're noticing some breaks. Temperatures a bit cooler today, looking at that 52 degrees right now. This is in New Haven. This is uh, West Rock right in this area. A pretty scene. That's we're noticing the clouds break up just before sunset sunset coming in in about an hour's time. But let's check in on our temperatures for today because we should be about 63 degrees this time of year. We were a good 10 degrees below that 53. But notice the morning temperature a chilly start 36 about 5 degrees below where we should be. I think coming up for tomorrow will even be cooler than that 66 some area, or excuse me 36. Some areas were forecasting those 20s to right around 30 where there is a first alert for a few areas. That's for Hartford, New Haven, or excuse me, Hartford, Wyndham, and Tallinn County that are forecasting some frost advisory issues. Not seeing that farther towards the south, but it certainly will be on the chillier side. Temperatures right now 40s to right around 50, and for the next several hours, we'll notice these winds lighten up a little bit right now, coming out of the north and west, anywhere from 5 to about 15 miles per hour. And we had an elevated breeze last night. I think for tonight, those lighten up a little bit, and that'll allow some of the areas, especially towards the north and the east, to see some of those frost issues first thing in the morning. So any tender plants or sensitive plants that you do have outside, maybe wouldn't be a bad idea to bring those indoors. A live look in Hartford, a lot of clouds still out there, but dry roadways for tonight. It's a different story than what we saw yesterday when we saw some rainfall. None of that for today. Satellite and radar across the east will show the cold front that we had yesterday well farther towards the south, bring some inclement weather the mid Atlantic and coastal Carolinas. But what we're watching is this next cold front. It will come through dry, completely dry, but it will drop our temperatures down into those 20s and 30s for tonight. Future cast does show the clouds will be breaking and by morning tomorrow on your Monday, it's a sunny start, but it is certainly a chilly one. You notice by 7 a.m. wall to wall sunshine, but cold out there. Frost in areas. We warm up pretty quickly, forecasting about those middle to upper 50s by the afternoon and throughout the rest of the day for tomorrow and then even into Tuesday, besides a few afternoon clouds, looks pretty good out there. For tonight though, 31 to 38 degrees, clearing skies and that frost possible after midnight forecast lows. You notice the temperatures are chilly out there. Wouldn't be surprised for some 20s in the northwest and northeast hills before tomorrow we rebound into those middle and upper 50s. Your first alert seven day forecast. By the time we get to tomorrow, it's sunnier, 59 degrees by Tuesday. Uh, Another chilly start, 20s and 30s, forecasting though near 65 degrees. Some showers by Wednesday and then even cooler behind that. There's a look at your shoreline high temperatures over the next seven. All right, thanks, Scott.